Hello everyone and welcome to our live session. I'm Ankita Patel, product evangelist at SellerApp and today I'm going to talk about the latest SellerApp feature, Stream. I can see a lot of people joining in, so please feel free to hit the chat box, say hi, where you're from, which marketplaces are you dealing with, which stage of Amazon selling are you at, and I'm really excited to know about it all. Welcome to the ever-changing world of e-commerce where shopper habits shift just like the tides. Succeeding as an Amazon seller requires the ability to adapt and be precise. Imagine having the ability to decode the subtle patterns of the customer interaction throughout the day, using that knowledge to tweak your ads for the best results. That's where SellerApp Stream steps in a game changer that's reshaping how Amazon ads work. Now think of it this way. Every click, every view, every order is a puzzle piece that builds a bigger picture of your Amazon campaign success. Until now, getting up to the moment insights into your campaign's performance has been tough. Now this has left sellers unsure about when to advertise for the best results and how to plan an effective day parting strategy. That's where SellerApp Stream will change the way you think about the Amazon advertising. SellerApp Stream brings fresh thinking to Amazon PPC campaigns. It arms you with the information you need to make the smarter choices. By linking with your Amazon advertising account, it gives you uh, you know, deep into the campaign's information. It lets you see the trends over the last 90 days by week, by day, and even by the hour. And the payoff, a bunch of insights that give you the control to spend your advertising budget just right. It's not just the data, it's the power to decide. Stream brings Amazon PVC campaigns into a new light, giving you the tools you need it fits right into your Amazon advertising account, taking a close look at your campaign's overall data. You can see the trends across weeks, days, and even hours, all from the last 90 days. The bottom line, you get a whole lot of insights that you want to spend your ad budget wisely. SellerApp proudly leads the way as the first technology innovator to introduce the Amazon marketing stream. Now, let's dive into how this powerful feature works. I'm sharing my screen for the same. So here you go. After connecting your Amazon advertising account to uh, the seller app dashboard, you need to go to the advertising section over here and select the stream. So this is how the stream feature looks like. On the left, you will find certain data such as view by and filter by. So view by will give you the different uh, you know, views of your campaigns and accounts data uh, that is divided into three sections, which will be looking into details in some time. Next is filter by whether you want to filter your overall data as an account level or the campaign level over here. And then you can just go to uh, selecting apply. On the right hand side, you have uh, a very important uh, customizable date range. So in this, you can actually customize the date range as per your needs. And then comes the overview section. So in the overview section, you will get the overview of your account level data or campaign level data as per you have selected. That gives you the information about the attributed sales, the ad spend, a cost, impressions, and the orders. After that, we have the interesting part this is called as the density graph. So this graph will tell you how exactly your campaigns are performing under account levels. So in this, uh, you can see the data as per all of these metrics. And then you have the color legend on the bottom of the graph. So that will help you to customize uh, the density graph as per the different color gradients over here you can see, right? So now let's look into the details of how exactly we can proceed with this amazing feature. Firstly, let's go on to the view by. Uh, we are selecting day and time of the week. So this will give you the insights into the day and time of the weekly performance of your uh, campaigns. So in this, you will get the overview section as stated. 
and then uh, you will get the day and time of the week so over here in this particular graph on the vertical line you can see uh, the hourly uh, time intervals that is from 12 a.m to 11 p.m over here so this is how this graph looks like and then we have uh, the days ranging from sunday to saturday on the horizontal line now as per different metrics such as attributes the spend a cost impressions the orders and the clicks your density graph will change and you are going to get some interesting insights into your campaigns and how exactly they are performing through this particular data. Now, say for example, I want to understand more about the attributed sales, uh, you know, how exactly my attributed sales are performing at 11 p.m. on everyday basis for a week. So this is how the information looks like. You're going to get uh, the total uh, amount of attributed sales for Sundays, Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, right over here. Now, this is definitely going to give you uh, insights into how you can improve your campaign's performance by optimizing the day parting rules, which we'll be again looking into later, right? And also, there is some interesting uh, fact about these color gra gradients over here. So the darker color mentions that uh, the higher values of those particular metrics and the lighter shades will show you, uh, you know, the lower values of those particular metrics. Now, after understanding uh, the day and time of the week view, let's go on to the second one that is day of the week view. Now, this is going to give you insights on uh, the weekly basis, right? So here you will find the overview section of these key performance indicators. And instead of density graph, we have a graphical representation in the day of the week. So Cellarap actually helps you monitor your uh, different advertising metrics and how it goes forward as per different days of the week. So in this, for the attributed sales, you can see that, uh, you know, on the horizontal line, there are different days of the week. And on the vertical line, there are values of the sales. And that certainly uh, differs for the spend, for a cost, for the impressions, orders, and the clicks. So say, for example, I want to understand the a cost trends for different days of the week. Then you will surely uh, have to click on the a cost and um, it will help you to understand when is your a cost maximum. And during that particular time of the week, you can actually uh, reduce the budget level so that uh, you can reduce the wasted ad spend during that particular time duration. Say, for example, during Sunday and Saturday, you have almost very high a cost. So you can, uh, you know, maybe alter your day parting rules accordingly so that you won't be wasting your ad spend over there. Now, after that, we have the last one that is time of the day. So it gives you insights into different hours of the day, like how your campaigns are performing. So in this, again, you get the overview section over here. And then we have the graphical representation, which is of more interest. So time of the day, again, on the horizontal line, you will uh, find the different hours of the day. So these hours of the day. Uh, are you know basically differing from 12 a.m. to 11 p.m. on an hourly basis on the vertical line you will get the different values of the sales then we have the spend the a cost impressions the orders and the clicks now say for example I want to understand how my impressions are working for you know different hours of the day so you can just click on the impressions over here and then you can see that during this particular time duration that is 12 p.m. the impressions are more right so you can optimize your day parting rules you can optimize your ad budgets accordingly so that uh, you can convert those impressions into sales right and that is how this particular data is going to help you on 
uh, you know, campaign level as well as the account level. It is going to give you insights, like real time insights into how uh, your ads are performing and how this information, how you can uh, leverage this particular information to uh, make necessary changes to reduce your A cost and improve your ROAS. So Seller App shows stream data only up to the previous day. For instance, if today is August 28th, the dashboard will show you data up to the August uh, 27th. If you connect your advertising account today, wait for 24 hours to start seeing the data on the stream. Also, let's look at the data availability for the different subscriptions. So if you are a premium user, access to historical data is limited to the last seven days from the day you connected your advertising account for paid users. The seller app provides a look back window of 90 days from the day of connecting the advertising account. Now, as you understand, the daily and hourly trends for your account or campaigns use the seller app automation tool to create the day parting campaign, set a high ad budget for peak times to improve your ROAS and a low budget for those slow hours to reduce the wasted ad spend. Now, let me show you how you can set the day parting rules. All you have to do is uh, go on to the automation under the advertising section. And in this, you can go on to the automation blueprint and then select the budget management. Under this, you can click on the create plan day parting rule. Now, all you have to do is create the rules. Now, creating the day parting rules is very easy. In this, uh, firstly, you have to put the rule name. Then the step one will be level of day parting. So apply day parting automation for whether it is account level or campaign level. So I'm going to select campaign level, then sponsored products and all campaigns. Now, once you select this, you can click on next. Then after that, the second step says the start date and the end date. So the earliest start date will be uh, tomorrow's date. Now, let me put tomorrow's date that is 29. And the end date, I'm putting it as 31st. So let me run this particular campaign for like, uh, you know, two days. So do you want to override the budget for the selected campaigns? Now, if you select it as yes, then you will have to enter a certain value over here. So I'm putting $5. So remember that in the first step, I have selected two, like all the campaigns, right? So this particular value will be suitable from the start date to the end date for all the campaigns. You won't be able to alter it during this particular time duration. If you select it as no, then whatever the budget you have already set for all the campaigns, that will be it from the start date to the end date. You won't be able to alter it. Then click on next. Next is the last step of setting up day parting. That is uh, selecting the time and setting up the budget. Now select the time. It usually starts at midnight and budget will be the absolute value. I'm putting as 5% and set. Now, uh, say for example, something really works out for you. Say for example, your impressions are more during uh, 7 p.m. So you can select 7 p.m. over your set the budget maybe more like six percent and then set and then you can just click on next and then review and enable so this is how you're going to set uh, the departing rules for yourself wasn't it so easy like i don't know why uh, people are really apprehensive about the automation and the rule setting part because i think it's totally easy and with seller apps uh, departing you can definitely set it at your ease now to conclude, Seller App's uh, stream ushers in a new era of the precision and the insight for the Amazon sellers in an ever evolving e-commerce landscape. So with the power to decode the early trends and unravel the customer behavior patterns, the stream empowers you to fine tune your advertising strategies like never before. Whether it's optimizing the day parting schedules, maximizing the ROAS during the peak hours or minimizing the base stage during the slower times, Stream equips you with the tools needed to thrive in the dynamic world of Amazon advertising. 
by embracing this game changing tool you can actually unlock the potential of your campaigns leading to enhanced sales improved efficiency and a strategic edge that sets you apart in the competitive e-commerce arena so seller app stream isn't just a tool it is a strategic ally that propels you towards the data driven success in every q4 and beyond so if you wish to know more about the seller app stream check out the link in the comment section below Also for any assistance related to stream or day parting or the PPC automation you can always reach out to us at support at sellerapp.com and that's it for this video everyone thanks for watching your support means a lot to us it encourages us to bring out more helpful videos like this if you found this video helpful please like share and subscribe to sellerapp let us know if you guys want us to create detailed seller guides for any specific topics You can leave your suggestions in the comment section below and we'll definitely create them for you. If you haven't already, click the bell icon so that you will never miss another video. Also, don't forget to follow us on our social media channels for more helpful content.